Okay, guys. Good afternoon. Oh, gosh. I look so ashy today. <laughs> so, um, I started my day off kind of late today. I'm going to be honest. Normally, I wake up a little bit earlier. I know one of my, um, one of my major plans for 2020, because I consider this is this, this week for me is considered the first week of the year of 2020. So I know one of the things I'm going to do, I have a calendar. I reorganized my office here, um, changed it up a little bit. Sometimes you just got to do that. But, um, one of the things I've need to work on today is I have this, uh, three months at a glance calendar here and I haven't been filling it out uh, for a little bit because where the way my desk was positioned before, it was um, facing the other direction. So when I would walk away from my desk, my two-year-old would come in here and she would sort of like erase. <laughs> she would erase all the months here, all the days here. And then some of it, I, obviously she did all this. And then I will only, she can't, she can't reach this calendar though, but she can definitely reach these two. Um, so now that my desk is now in front of, and I'm going to get a brand new desk, by the way. Now that my desk is in front of the calendar, she cannot get to um, erase anything. So, <laughs> so I want to get back to, you know, fill, I'm going to fill this calendar in. Um, another thing. And guys, today is my, today is Mindset or Mastermind Monday. Hey, Shannon. Um, and that's what I'm, you guys know every day in this group, I have a theme. Last night, I did a coaching session with my private group coaching clients inside of my Sales Success Academy program. Last night, this week we're in week four. Hey, Annette. Hey, Trina. How are you? And we worked on our month at a glance for 2020. We actually filled it all in in class. Um, and it got me, you know, after listening to what my clients put in theirs, it allowed me to change everything because I feel that if we focus 2020 on what the outcome we want to create every month, and I told my clients to do a little bit different. I, I you know, I taught them exactly how I reverse engineer my years. Hey, Miss Tasha. And it was a phenomenal class. Like Tasha, you were there. How was class last night? Class last night was amazing sauce. Because if you don't get into a habit of planning and writing stuff down and position them where you want to put them, you're not going to get nothing done. You know, that's hugely important. So today, guys, is Mindset Monday. Um, and Mindset Monday, or I'm sorry, it's, it's Mastermind Monday. <laughs> Mastermind Monday is all about you masterminding what you want to create this week. So I'm going to give you an example. I woke up this morning. I, was, I woke up kind of late. I meant to wake up a little bit earlier. But last night... My husband loves to watch scary movies, okay? <laughs> he loves to watch scary movies, and I don't like scary movies. Uh, but I was like, you know what? Let me just watch this movie with him, whatever, whatever. Normally, when we're watching movies, I'm sitting there watching, and he'll fall asleep like 10 minutes into the movie. So I'm such an intriguing person. Like, I like to watch things to the end. So I'm sitting there watching this movie. I think it's called Train Run or something like that. The movie is mostly in... Um, they're mostly talking Chinese, Japanese throughout the entire movie, but there's subtitles on the bottom, so we can actually read along as the movie goes along. But it's like a zombie, it's like your typical zombie movie, you know, where oh, a zombie, a person gets infected and starts biting everybody, and they become zombies. You know, the typical. There's like a million zombie movies out there, but the storyline of this movie was awesome. Like I just, I just kept watching it until the end. And it was some extremely sad parts in there. I don't want to give it away, but I was watching the movie all night. Now, oh God, the babies. Here she go. Here she go. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, um, so after the movie was over, I just can't go straight to sleep. I can't. So I'm surfing through Netflix for another movie to watch. And I'm just sitting there. And my husband's sleeping. Hey. Yes, Nook. Go to Grandma. Hey. Grandma calling you. 
What happened? Come here, come here. Oh, let me see. Let me see. What happened? What happened? Who hit you? Worry did it? Yeah. Okay, go tell grandma. Okay. Worry. Get your tablet, mama. Yes. Uh, when she comes out, close the door. Go tell grandma he hit you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Why are you breathing so hard? Uh, Close the door for me. Close it shut so she can't come again. Yeah, baby V's being baby V, y'all. She's become so. She's she's two now, so y'all know how it goes with the terrible twos. But what what I, what was I saying? So like I said, I'm I was up to probably two in the morning. Okay, <laughs> I was up to two o'clock in the morning last night. Um. And then I woke up like probably around eight o'clock this morning, eight, nine o'clock this morning. And I no longer beat myself up anymore about not waking up at the time I want to wake up because I always say God calls me to wake up and rise at the time he calls me to rise and wake up. Because when I woke up this morning, I was refreshed, honey. I was like, I'm ready to take over this week, dominate this week. And I, I wrote out how much, how much money I want to bring in this week. Um, what am I going to do to bring in that amount of money? How much work I'm going to put into my business every single day? Um, I did. I mean, I was absolutely ready and like woke up this morning, like game on. So that's what Mastermind Mondays is really about too. It's about getting up and planning like, what is your outcome going to be this week? What outcome are you going to create for yourself this week? Start with the outcome. And one of my amazing super friends, Robin Jackie, um, gave me that idea is don't focus on how much money you want to make. And that's great. You know, like I said, it's the first thing I wrote down working up after I did my meditation and prayer was how much money I need to bring in this week. But then I also wrote out what is going to be my outcome. Another thing idea I had guys was to create a weekly vision board. So I have this binder. Hold on. Let me get this binder y'all. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my binder so I can show y'all what, what I am talking about. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. So, can y'all see me? Ooh. So, I have this binder here. And this is normally my client binder. But I'm going to be adding... I might, matter of fact... You know what? Give me one second, y'all. I might use my other binder for this. Because this I want to keep this binder as my client binder. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Can y'all still hear me? So I have this white binder that's, that I had this since I was working my full-time job three years ago. And last time I touched this, <laughs> this binder was been a minute. So that's why it's kind of bent up. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> this is like... A, <laughs> Uh, honesty moment. I used to take some supplies for my job, you know, cause like they ain't pay me enough so that they owe me somehow. But, uh, anywho, well, I used to order the supplies for the whole building. But anyway, I like these pockets in this binder here because it has, uh, folders. So it's a divider and a folder. And wow, I have a lot of old notes in here. I got to go through these notes. But it has a lot of stuff in here. I might use this for my productivity stuff, like my dumping list, my months at a glance. I'm going to get this laminated, actually. But yeah, what was I getting into about this? So, like I mentioned, you got to plan out. You got to you gotta write some stuff out. So, in, oh yeah, the vision board, weekly vision board. So, I was thinking of... I'm going to have my main vision board, obviously, but I feel like every week I want to create a vision board for myself and I want to be able to, I'm going to print it out on my computer. I'm going to put little things on it because I know on Canva, you guys can make, you can make a collage on Canva. Hey, Kendra, can you guys hear me? Type in one of y'all can see and hear me. For some reason, I'm not getting you guys comments. So type in number one, if y'all can see and hear me clearly. So like I mentioned, I'm going to um, put all my planning stuff in this binder and keep this black binder as a client binder. But anywho, 
I want to create a weekly vision board and say, okay, this is the outcome I want to have this week. Because if you can dominate a weekly vision, just imagine where your business is going to be by the end of the, by the end of 2020. Because you guys know this week is my week one of 2020. It's my week one of 2020. So, wow, that's going to be crazy massive. Crazy massive, right, Tasha? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, guys, today is Mastermind Monday. You need to sit down for, for about 30 minutes today and just dump out whatever you need to get done this week. Obviously, you know, if you focus on week by week by week, by the end of this month, you're going to look back and be like, oh my God, look at what I accomplished. And then the month of January, and once it gets to February, you're going to look back and say, okay, what could I did better in January? What do I need to improve on? What worked in January that I need to carry over to February? Right? What didn't work in January and why didn't that work in, in January? It doesn't mean that that thing you planned out sucked. Maybe you need to change your methods on how it, you can make it happen. Adjustments, right? So I, every single month, I'm going to have a, a word. Like I know last night I told my clients, what is your word for 2020? Oh no, I think I did it on my live. And I was like, you know what? I need a, I need a, a word every month because every single month you should be evolving. You should be getting, you could, you should be getting higher and higher in your business, in your personal life, your spiritual life, and your family relationships, right? So my word for this month, and guys, share what your word is for January. To me, today is January. <laughs> so my word is passive, 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 passive income, passive profits, passive content creation. It's like passive, passive, passive all the way. I'm creating that now. A lot of people wait to the end of the year to start creating that. I'm not doing that. Um, Because at the end of the year, I really want to be focusing on traveling, traveling with my family, traveling for my business, um, all that stuff. That's what I wanted. I created a new Trillo board last night after class for my weekly. Oh, Tasha, can you send it to me? Can you share with me your Trillo board, mama? I would love to see. I know you mentioned that last night you had a Trillo board and I wrote down that I would love to see it. And that's another thing, guys. I'm a, I'm a person that's big on writing things down, but you may be like Natasha who likes to, you know, put stuff in on a Trillo board or on some type of calendar, digital calendar. And that's fine. That's fine. Sometimes I will write something down in here in my binders and I'll transfer it over to my Trillo board or Asana or wherever, you know, it's just get into the habit of planning and executing, planning and executing. Um, and it's all about all that above Tasha said her word for this month is for this month. Tasha is increase. Awesome. Mm. So think of a word every month. And those of you who are in SSA right now, the, the month at a glance sheet I gave you guys last night, put in your word for each month. Okay. I keep, I keep stretching y'all and I love it. <laughs> I love stretching y'all. Cause y'all like coach another thing. Yes. Think of a word for each month. You know, one month can be like one of my months for 2020 is collaborating. I have one month in 2020 that I'm going to just be focused on just collaborating with people. It could be collaborating with somebody in a virtual summit, collaborating with somebody out here in New York uh, that wants to do an event. I, I was just telling my mom this morning, I was like, Ma, I'm about to get back to old school days where I used to just say, hey, y'all, I'm about to be at the Red Lobsters on a, a, by Green Acres Mall out here in Queens and let's do a meet and greet. Let's pop up. Let's do a let's do a, a in-person session. And I've done that before. Y'all seen it where I will go to my local red lobsters and I love me some lobster, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell the restaurant in advance that I'm coming. they be like, Oh, no problem. They'll put us in the section of the restaurant and we would just sit there and for two whole hours, sometimes three and just mastermind. And that was fun. I would bring in one of my girls who's an amazing photographer. She'll come in and she'll take pictures because, you know, I always like to capture the moment, right? And um, 
it become another opportunity for me to market that that opportunity. I like digital because I can always add to it. Yeah, digital is perfect. You can always add to it. However, guys, listen. And I love Natasha that you mentioned that. A lot of people think what works for me won't necessarily work for you. You know what I'm saying? So you have to do what works for you. And if you choose to adjust it, right? If you choose to adjust it, how you do your methods for a couple of months and go for it, go for it. Like I'm not a huge planner girl, but <laughs> it's so funny how there was, there's a planner company and I'm not going to name the name of this company, uh, but it's a very popular planner company. Y'all probably seen this, this company on YouTube and all over for forever. Uh, they inboxed me the other day because they saw I was putting more content on my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel does not have a lot of followers. It has about 70 people following. And they're like, oh, um, we would love to to uh, sponsor your channel by giving you f- our, our planners for free. Uh, so basically, they will mail me their planners for free. Okay, they'll mail me the planners, a couple of the sticker books. And all I have to do is just do like a one day a month or one day a week or whatever. I have to read their email again. Um, a plan with me. You know how the girls be doing? Like they be doing those plan with me videos on YouTube and they be dressing up, putting all those stickers and stuff in the planner. Um, you did a photo shoot today? Oh, Linda, girl, I can't wait to see your photo. I, oh, that's amazing. People think photo shoots is easy. Photo shoots is not easy. It's a lot of work. It's almost like working out for six <laughs> hours it's a lot of work smiling like forcing yourself to smile and be excited in front of a camera is hard so i commend you sis oh i can't wait to see your photos i can't wait um good morning lisa how are you so yeah so i'm just like i just say that to say this guys you never know who's watching you you never know what opportunities that's going to arise. And even though I'm not a huge planner person, like I would like shift my, you know, thing a little bit. I mean, to say, okay, let me be this person that likes to dress up and make planners <laughs> look pretty. Right. Um, so listen, y'all happy mastermind Monday. Uh, make sure that you guys are dumping out what it is exactly that you want to work on and you want to execute. I'm so appreciative of you guys being in this tribe community. Before I hop off here, let me first make a couple of announcements. The first thing is, if you haven't gotten inside of my membership club, go to camelsuccessnetwork.com right now. It's $9 a month to join my membership club today. And I'm going to be closing out the bonuses very, very soon. So those of you who join now, you're going to be able to get live stream access to all of my um, conferences uh, for the for the whole year of 2020. And, and you're going to get monthly access to my seven-day challenge that I'm going to be launching in a couple of weeks. Okay? So go to camelsuccessnetwork.com and get inside now. The next thing I want to announce is um, my share the love post. Every day... In between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern, I create a post in this group for you guys to add your content. If you want more eyes on your content, if you want more people to check out your posts, check out your live videos or what have you, uh, put the URL to whatever thing, whatever post you publish, okay, and leave it under that post so we can all engage under your content. Another thing I added in there, if y'all need more followers on Instagram, uh, I put a post in, um, inside this group where you guys can just leave your handle uh, for your Instagram page and we can start following you on Instagram, okay? And also, here's the thing, guys. You also have to follow everyone back. So if somebody says, replies to your Instagram handle, say, hey, I'm following you now. Here's my handle to my Instagram. You also have to follow them too. I meant, and then you go back to that post. Sorry, guys. Then you go back to that post. It's inside this group and say, hey, I'm following you. So if Linda leaves her handle, okay, say, hey, guys, follow me here on Instagram. You guys start following her. Then Linda goes back and and after you go back to Linda's, you know, comment. You say, hey, Linda, I'm following you now on Instagram. Then Linda goes in and say, okay, let me follow you. And then she follows you also on Instagram. It's simple. So this month, uh, we're going to be focusing on making sure that we're following each other on Instagram next month. I'm not sure which platform is going to be. Y'all tell me which platform that you want to grow for February. Um, is it LinkedIn? Is it YouTube? Is it Twitter? Uh, which platform do you want to grow? Um, 
for your business. Tell me guys right now in the comments and that will be my focal point for February. But I want all of us to start getting into the habit of making sure that we're following each other so we can grow so we can grow our pages because everyone on here has a business. Everyone on here probably needs your, your product or your service. So why not start start to have them follow you now instead of waiting for them to find you? No, have them start following you now. And, you, and also, you never know if that's a great person that you can possibly collaborate with. Right. So all these things are, are, are super important. They all work and coincide together. So let me know, guys, in the comments, which platform that you guys want us to focus on on February. Uh, again, don't forget to get inside of my membership club, CampbellSuccessNetwork.com. And let's dominate today. Hey, Nina, how are you? I am ready to jump right on into this, my business and just rise and rise and rise all right y'all thank you guys for so much for watching as always get out there and dominate oh linkedin lisa okay fetches lisa uh put her comment at first next month in february we're gonna focus on we're gonna focus on getting more people to follow to follow each other on linkedin i might do like i'm not on linkedin as much but i know how it works in some on a basic level so yeah, I might do something special for the people in the membership club as it pertains to growing LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn is an awesome place. LinkedIn is just like straight business. Like if you're going to get clients in, on there, they, it's straight business, which I like. It's targeted for people to know I'm here to make money, not here to share cat videos. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.